když to budeme trvat, takže když zkusím mluvit anglické, když řeknu nějakou blbost, tak mě o to odlazuje. Že by slyšeli můj krásný hlas, pěkně anglické. Cože? Myslím, že už mají dost. Uh-huh. Ano, to je pravda, vlastně mě to spolupne. Hello. Hello. Uh, you can see who's here on the uh, the chat. There's about eight of them, seven of them. Probably you don't know me all, but sometimes I appear at the phone board about uh, at, at Nick uh, Enter 2101. So that's me. I am Thomas Grusta, author of Pass. <laughs> and I plan to make some small presentation about the past history. The old history, as before the message board was founded. Because what was happening later, you can find out on the message board. And what was happening further, may be seen for you to hear about. Are you going to introduce yourself? Okay, so I am Lee. That's all. <laughs> I am Lucas. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it happens to me to write something on phone. Okay. Since, since here, I mean, I mean, it's going to be much more often. <laughs> since now, I'm uh, Mace Jen, and uh, I will try to present uh, some uh, obfuscation. In Messi, no. <laughs> if you have symbols, you and I'm hyper Okay. So let's hope some. Let's hope it will be soon. You already did something about it or designed it? Yes. Um, there was some really, uh, Please, guys, uh, chat uh, in English. And uh, we can understand you. You are using English all the time. Yes, but uh, they are using uh, Polish on the chat. Oh, do we have one? I can. You know, there are some members. This will be quite Each line has two links to the current lines. Yes. With every you know we can remove code and the next for definition we talk about. This can be a very large tree lines. Yes. That'll be fine. Okay. I'll try and get this out. So I will draw some kind of a map how the what, what things were happening uh, since the uh, 1997. Can you see if you can, can you see if you can get it to um, I started yes. writing my own computer for the so called I language. This is not important what kind of language it was, but I even don't remember myself. It was some kind of middle level language, something like C minus minus. But however, I never finished that computer, but I finished the part of it that was uh, assembling the instructions, assembling instructions. 
And so then I put this on the park and called it Asm32. And this was my first assembler. It was about September the same year. And then in 1998, I used my assembler to write the first version of my own operating system, the Dunbar OS. This was ver version 001. And it was just about setting up protected mode, paging some video mode, and nothing more. Also, in the same year, I wrote my own DOS extender, it was called PageDOS. And with this extender, I started to the Thread Ascender project. So Thread Ascender was working in protected mode using this extender. Well, what kind of extender? D uh, DPMI? Just protected mode mm -hmm. interface or your own? More. DPMI and more. Uh, mm -hmm. Functions for files. So called true DPMI. Mm -hmm. The same as Windows has. Mm -hmm. This the extended cost for creating writing files and so forth. And so from these two projects, the first was born. This was 1999. Uh, there was uh, even exact date they preserved uh, when it was started. It was, I was once posted in the forum. It was March 23 at this exact hour. <laughs> <laughs> right, we shall have ourselves a new holiday. I started this in Even. DOS Navigator, and in Text Editor, there, there was an option to insert the current time. So I used it to mark the point when I started writing it. <laughs> That's why this is known. And this was the third version. I will mark it with P letter. This is my main private uh, prototype. Because this version number was later used uh, also as an official release, but it was not the same. Yes. It was April. And later the same year, there was also SP one zero. And this was the version used for only my own purposes. Are there any questions there? We go to This was the beginning of new era. I don't think there's any questions, just some comments. Mm -hmm. I would say this was the beginning of new era. <laughs> <laughs> and this very first pass, uh, version 09, it was the first version that was able to reassemble itself. And this pass had only two modules, preprocess and assembler. There was no parts at the time. So the assembler was quite slow because it was in the new text. It yes. passed it. Mm -hmm. And it had only binary output, yes. no real table formats. And this has one zero from this line, private line, was able to output so-called HF format. This was real table format that supported dynamic uh, 
linking, and it was formatted for my operating system. Yes. And so this was used to make a new version of Python. There was also flat editor, also created for this operating system. Zero ten. It was about the last time I tested and lost. And then came the official history. The first official day was 2000. This was 09 dot officially released to the internet. I announced it both on the readers group. Oh, we have a question here. Uh, Arafel says, the very first version of FAS in 1997, what assembler was used to assemble it? Oh, this, uh, this was not FAS, but the previous assembler that was used to create FAS, but it was not FAS itself. And this assembler was created with the uh, turbo assembler. Wondering what were the differences between S232 and S232, or what was S232? It was generally mm, a subset of the functionality. Yes, just uh, it took instructions and was people. And without an extender. Yeah. Mm, it used cool. the different extender, not mine. Yeah. And it had no such. Uh, there was no such. Uh, Things like virtual, right. etc. Only, only things uh, that I used in past were moved. Mm -hmm. It was that that started some new things. Oh, and this version that I released officially, I didn't want to release my extender. That's why I changed it to use flat real mode instead. And so this is basically, basically the same version as this, with this one change that instead of extender there was a remote. Well, this is the only remote. Let's see if I did. Oh, it became a remote later. It was, it was you had 66 six. prefixes everywhere. Yes. I agree. Yeah, that's right. And then was was one zero, and it was completely different one zero and then this one. this one was with additional output formats for operating system yeah. and still on this extender and this one's a new continuation of that's zero nine if you show and it introduced two most important things the parser it was the first one to have parser and formatted modules Including the dust format and the So, in the error with the processing, you convert the pure text into a list of symbols. Then we don't need them. So, so yes, this, uh, this was happening. This also uh, was the first time it was at this version. Yes. The 09 was operating on pure text. Mm -hmm. And so it was slow. Oh, and this was the date of release of Fast Man Zero was the same as is my birthday. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Which is mm -hmm. oh, still weird. Time Wait, right. I will. So we can ask, uh, you again, what's on the, the name of the OS? Is it downloadable? 
whole the operating can, system as it is. You can type it on the message board. Yes. Uh, I think you could focus uh, better on the text. Yeah. I believe they can't read it more. Yeah, and I have because done. the name Tachanov is there. I think it's going to be hard to fit everything <laughs> here. You can flip, flip the chart. Um, do some people want to look at it, or can I take it right now? Let me um, focus on it for a second, and then... Um, I think it's okay now. Just go ahead. Uh, it was from Silver 32. I see there is a Titan OS exe in Titan OS executable. Uh, was it loaded from world mode of DOS? No. Yes, it's, there were two versions. One that was moving from floppy, and the second one that I could just not from DOS, and it was faster for just me. That answers all the second questions. Uh, and seems to be like everything. <laughs> Any more questions? Oh, so uh, is the system still developed? Um, no, no, the, the, the right one. Yeah. Let's just abandon this, guys. And just the system is no longer continued because I lost the source. And you are almost as bad at writing stride. It's for berries. You know, writing 
Technologies.com. important steps that in 2002 it was past 137 it had first Linux part mm -hmm. did you have a uh, modular part which is all operating system specific before? Or did you, did you have the part it which deals with operating system separately before? It was from the very start, because it was made this way for the Titan operating yeah. system yes. and those. Yes, of course. And so, it was first version for Linux uh, when there was no even help output. It was constructed manually in binary format. Mm -hmm. Oh, and in the same year, there came first one for one. Why does it help uh, no location for this? Sorry, too much. But L has relocation, so. It has two variants one with relocations oh. of the one and executed both. Yes, I was afraid he was building the location of my hand. Really, the hero. Hero. So this was your, there was a first version of Fasm W, which was derived from the assembler workplace, which goes back to the flat editor for Titan OS. So many shortcuts 
keyboard shortcuts are, are working the same as they were working in main editor for Python OS, still in Python W. You want the editor preserved or you will go with it? I had it. It was even downloadable from internet for some time. Mm -hmm. At the place of Plasma Zero, but it's no longer available. But I had it somewhere. There's a question from Folder. Do you use any source control, a version control like CBS or SEA? No, I'm the only one person who does any okay. modifications, so it's not needed. At this time, it started to gain popularity when it was discussed on the board the many new users were coming. And we soon moved to our home. Message board. It was at the time at the source course uh, server for a short time because we soon moved to the one we are using now. Reverend has a question there. Well, that's not fully true because uh, flat wheel mode was used for this version, but not the very oh. first one, which was using standard. But it was using flat memory model, and 
there was no any kind of segmentation of generated code, and still there is no. Everything is generated like exactly in the order of how it is in the source, and this is this kind of flatness. But you got symbols relative to other symbols, and oh, this is how you create mm -hmm. segmentation. <laughs> and macro. I mean in sections or segments in MD. Really, I'm not sure here. Uh, symbols defined inside section or segment are relative to its beginning or how is it? Mm, for segment, it's true. For section, not necessarily. It mm -hmm. depends on format. Yes. From, for object format, it's related to the beginning of section. And for Windows, it's it will also be snap. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just two more important releases. One forty-three was the first with L. Oh, no. In the last year, it was the important release with 64 bits. Mm -hmm. I think removing peaks was very uh, old peak behavior. And mm -hmm. yes, using backslash was important, <laughs> really. But it was important. If which part is and the, mm -hmm. some but it was some of these features here. Yes. And I focus him on the something visible to the people from outside. Yes. And uh, this kind of it was kind uh, of together with 64 upper uh, uh, new kids and the base slash with this baby. It was what I can now see before. And then, uh, yes. This song was the first with long mode code, and 64 was the first with uh, P, Green, yes, P, 64. Ah. So, and the, so, I remember this one question. There is the future to come. for the biggest increase in the popularity, then the first boost in popularity was uh, here, in fact, the third, that third, whole third. And the second boost was uh, at the days of the new forum. It's, it's like till now. I remember finding the old programmers have one. Oh. And at that time, I don't know, it was not the old time, but maybe it will work too. That was on the previous <laughs> And you did this propagation in both the Windows yes. servers like Programmers Heaven? Those releases was mainly in Programmers Heaven and. Yes. No. They got a few hits. <laughs> <laughs> and also, since it got listed in the Freedoms, it's uh, dirt here today. Freedoms is the most using the most kernel or Freedoms project? It's just a free rewrite of the. 16 bit code and so on. Mm -hmm. or more than kind of mix. There are different versions. Okay. There are three more questions.
Okay, starting from the first, uh, about the future of fast. There is one thing I am sure for now that we are going to, I am going to add uh, outputting of the symbolic information, the ARM format that I'm designing now. And then we can be able to make some converters from this as an own format into other noun formats. This is most important for now. As for the FASM2, there is no any strict plan. I have some ideas, but uh, you can be sure that FAS2 would be completely incompatible with FASM1. So it won't be a version that is going to replace FASM1. It may be uh, some alternative, but it's not going to replace it. Right, I think the future. Um, you could think about defining clean borders between your modules this in your source, so people can replace your uh, preprocessor or reuse it in their stuff or something like that. Do you think it would be possible? Or? It is possible. Like you know, of, uh, every time when I get back to writing the Plasma guides to internals, it's time I write something new there. I also do many corrections to the source to make it more understandable. Understandable. And so if I come back to continue with this document, uh, I think I will also clean up the source once again. Mm. Because I clean it up, and then when I add new features and new you versions, uh, it's going to mess once you again. You mentioned <laughs> revolutions of testing for time uh, was not so clean, changing of modules. It was just replacing x86 assembly module with time assembly module. But you mentioned somewhere that it wasn't that clear. Yes, because he needed to change, change some other places that because IRM is so different that like it could not, could not be made so easily. Like what? Oh, I don't recall what is. Oh, well, well, exactly. Like yeah. There is this, I remember, which you were using for my cross. It's not like in the parser. I'm sure it was not in the parser. It might be used for. Or braces, which is for macro beginning, and then these are just instructions. Yes. But uh, generally, you can replace a single module, but another one, no problem. Mm, you might think about separating uh, directives and at least in source, you know, directives and instructions. Mm, it's already done. Yeah. Not there's no. I have a short order nice. between them, but it's already very special. Mm -hmm. But there is a problem also with formatter with this. It's not really completely separate from the It's mixed with something like that. And data that are test to parser are in your uh, format where we choose the Yes, it's not the best. It's not the question from Marcelo Sabino. <laughs> <laughs> there were some. Uh, there's one more from Fuder. From oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Fuder. Fuder. <laughs> well, you can find an explanation for the reason why I moved on that board when I wrote my final, a <laughs> kind of final post. when I. Uh, invited people to join my new board, I wrote a reason why we were moving. Yes, that's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> but I still believe it could be implemented. It would be not very clean to understand it, but I know the problem with implementing it. You mentioned some cosmetical stuff like with implementing it on macros. The idea of problem is something we uh, the processing the same line multiple times. Something like this, but you think it would no, no, not with most taking the weakness of it into account would it it's, be it's just 
doesn't fit into my. <laughs> yes, uh, I understand that, but it the, could the be something that Reverend is asking right now <laughs> about. Yes, I understand that, but it could be implemented. But uh, would it be a problem to add something like that? Well, not that much problem. It is possible, but it would be much work. Yeah, work and work. Some people think theorists or. That will be common. What's the problem with it? There are internals and not adapted for it this way. It was completely different way of thinking, but it was right. So you would just have to write some routines on you, completely new. Yes. It's not compatible with this way of thinking I used when I implemented the term. I, I can imagine how would you pass parameters to that. And for the other question, I was the only one who was working on test all the time, a big deal. I just, oh, I can combine it with the answer to the other question. 
I was following my own vision from the very beginning, and that was the reason that that why I wouldn't let other people to have something because I wanted to have control of my own vision. And you have to convince him about that. Could you say uh, something about uh, Exitem? We, we answered that in one of the There was a service uh, on the board? Oh. Yeah. The, the, the search button. The, 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 well, uh, the, reason yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> the reason for this kind of answer is that it was discussed more than once yeah. before. Yeah, you're right. right. It's a frequent topic. And <laughs> I always say about the same. So we've got the sketch of the whole history, so if there will be no more questions, I can finish my part. Much of format is like no. From those formats, it's most similar to that, mm. but it's still different. I don't know how to say. They have in common that uh, both health and metal can be object or executable. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All with matches stands for object. <laughs> Oh, there's a question. Shall I just say it once again? <laughs> that X and M is completely incompatible with as vision of macros.
Tokyo Goku. We can have then later time for three questions because some of the questions are not really related to the topic of the yes. This is my notebook for uh, I wrote down some of the structures while I was developing the assembly. And what you made in internals? Yes, I did do that. Like, oh, maybe we should. I'm looking at this something. Yeah. I was often using this description of structures on paper like this, and I was just using the numbers. In the yeah, yeah, I saw. <laughs> That's all I needed. <laughs> this is one of things. It would be nice to convert it to structures. <laughs> it must be all, but it must be sometimes a hard one for you to find out. If you have to look up with each time, or so much. I don't have to look it up each time. Oh, this is the most important. <laughs> uh, this was for class 1.0. This is the design of parcel, the very first version of parcel. Mm. We'll show it on the <laughs> Here on this paper, I, I was designing the parser for that assembler for the very first version of the parser. Tomasz, Reverend asked whether you are working at the university, a doctorate, or... That's right. <laughs> oh, and on the second page is... Before I implemented it, I worked myself as a kind of parser, <laughs> just to design <laughs> how is it going to look. <laughs> so each box is one byte here, and I was converting mm -hmm. text into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I implemented it to work exactly this way. Yes. Anyway, does the is the speed increase in this notable or? That it does this have? It was. A it, it is easier for you to work. It was with a, a great but speed improvement at the time. Mm. About no, I don't, no oh, sorry, I don't mean a uh, parser stage into internal format, but I mean a uh, pre pre processing uh, text into stream of symbols. No, this also was speed up, but not as well, much. That's what, that was more for you to make it easier to yes. work with it. So. Will you publish it? <laughs> oh, there's some more. <laughs> but everything is at random places here. <laughs> oh, the oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. I was expecting it to be uh, carved in tablets <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> Some kind of skull stroke. Oh, this is what I wanted to show. Uh, when I was first implementing the portable executable, I used these notes about the header format <laughs> for those files. And this is what I used to implement it into FASP. I always work just with the paper notes like this. Oh, I was looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I take it to hold it for a while. This is also a very important documentation. <laughs> Secret. Like I wonder if inside our documentation Microsoft will say why <laughs> <laughs> that's why they are not published. <laughs> <laughs> the structures from the object output. Yes. Modified which of tens of times. Ah, <laughs> uh, your ideas for object output? Or what object output? Mm, for cost and out from yes. others, they need to store some structures during the assembly. Uh -huh. yes. To generate the structures uh, in the format already. <laughs> I was want I wanted to ask you something. Uh, while preprocessing, you are you have list of symbols that cannot be used as a name or something like that. But you are also taking into account assembly time symbols. For example, no, you cannot name. Ma no, you can. Uh, I'm not sure which one, but only parser. You just. You got a common list of symbols of our reserved words or what it is for assembly or processing. No, no. No? no. For assembly, it's more matter. Only parser does such checks. The processor doesn't check for any list. Then I mistake. That's mistake. And second thing, did you notice? Uh, what I uh, posted about exports lately, for Bardic exports. That you, it is dangerous to people who use flat sections with data export, because uh, you know what are for Bardic exports in PE, the, in the dynamic link libraries. You know what are for, for Bardic exports? I know for Bardic exports in the object files. No, in the dynamic link library you have exports, but uh, if you want to export something that is in another file, in another <laughs> library, you can do this. And this is done by, uh, you, get, you have pointer to function in exports, and you point that function into same segment as uh, where in which the exports reside. Or something like that, I can find the post. Do you read every post? Board? <laughs> Almost. But sometimes, like with the one you put the colors in, it's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yet. I forgot. But I have it prepared. Or did I? I think I didn't. Draw two questions. Two? Oh, what? Uh, don't use syntactic diagrams for designing courses. <laughs> oh, I would need to know what they are in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> and K is insensitive question. Oh, well, that was not planned. FASM was generally case sensitive in the very first versions. Even hex numbers was case sensitive. <laughs> 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 But I find it good to learn people not to use the yeah, people. <laughs> oh, and for this reason, uh, flat assembler has name in lower case, and I almost never write it with any uppercase characters. Mm -hmm. It was initially it had the sense that it was meaning that everything needs to be case sensitive and every instruction needed to be lower case. Here is the post. I will paste it to the phone. Case insensitive match. Are you thinking about it? I'll just put it on the phone. I thought you were about mm. 
that's about uh, export forwarding.